Hello folks and welcome back to Dave's workshop for your first post painting Panzer progress report. So Panzer is back and we have been doing some rust proofing and painting underneath the car. But main thing you will notice today is we have a scales under all four of the Panzer's wheels. So, place your bets as to what the weight is because we're going to have a look. Here we go. So, our Tesla powered Panzer weighs 1,635.5 kilos. Has a, what am I looking at here, a front to rear balance of 47 to 53 percent and uh, left side to right side 51 percent left side 49 percent right side so i know that a lot of you guys have been asking me to do this for a long time so finally we have the panzer's weight um that's obviously minus driver because uh, that would be me and yeah, pretty much everything else is in the car. I just don't have a lead acid battery in that corner, so you know it's probably a couple of kilos. Um, so yeah, sixteen thirty-five. So nearly, I think about one hundred and seventy-five or one hundred and seventy kilos less than normal engine-powered Panzer weight. Now we've also finally got the front of the car uh, pretty much back together I've got all the grills and bits sitting in there um, so that's pretty major I had to go on a major 300 mile drive to pick up a light uh, for here which some of you may remember was deposited on the track at Mondello Park so um, across the current state of play with the Panzer we are beavering away merrily here because uh, it looks like I am going to be bringing the Panzer to the fully charged live show in Silverstone in the UK in June. Dave is currently dancing up and down be behind me here while beavering away on a engine powered drift trike. So that's the sound effects to the electric Panzer. Oh look, he's kind of putting some kind of strange hydrocarbon fuel in here. Let's have a a look and uh, see what he's doing in order to distract us. Oh, you're spilling some of it, Dave. Yep. That's dangerous. Mm -hmm. Petrol burns. That warms it up. Yes, but it's dangerous. It could go on fire and kill you. Are you sure it's safe to be driving around with all of that fuel in there? No, definitely not. Okay. That's to the excitement. Oh. So, that's where we're at, guys. I have, yeah, as I say, I've been painting under the car we'll give you a look at that it's still tacky and also tacky but at least it's keeping the keeping the rust at bay and you know putting a bit of an appearance on the underside so that's where we're at 1635 um awful lot of stuff i still need to do uh we've got to get our speedometer and tachometer driver put in here. I have to tidy up this mess. Uh, the boot wiring is a disaster. But we'll get there with that. That's not too bad. I might even get to paint some of those uh, subframe sections in there hopefully as well. So, I'll leave you there. Uh, we'll have a look under the car and then we'll see what else we got going on today. Stay with us. Here we go. Bye, Dave. Jesus Christ. See what I got to deal with? All right, back to the Panzer. So under the back here, we've painted up all the bare metal just with black anti-rust paint. 
it's not the preferred way to do things but basically time pressure and money pressure and that we kind of do best we can so we got all this painted um, most of the metal work that I could get at or some of it in here we'll have to get at when we take the drive unit down but that ain't going to be happening for a while um, did the same thing here around the battery just all the bare metal there is nicely painted up takes a bit of the nasty effects off it uh, here on the front I am missing part of the bumper here I think it's the spoiler that would sit down here bolts on to these guys if anyone wants to have one of those going around do please let me know um, towards the back what we are going to be doing is we are going to be mounting probably actually probably here would be the place to put it um, our Chidemo fast charging port obviously with our BMW badge on there so how I'm going to do that is with a piece of pipe, just a bit of ordinary steel pipe because I'm cheap and nasty. And we're going to make ourselves a fake exhaust uh, back here and um, have our Chedemo port kind of thing right about here where the silencer tips uh, would have came through here. And uh, we can bring our cabling up quite easily then in here into our high voltage junction box and our demo controller and all the various other uh, bits that we need so with that I will try to get done before fully charged um, and yeah I've got an NCT in about a week's time so I've got to get a lot of the little bits and bobs done of a couple of brake lines in here that I'm going to need to get a bit of support for a couple of things like that Hopefully won't have too many problems and that the NCT guys won't get too carried away with 400 horsepower. So, so we're on charge now. Um, I've only got 16 amp single phase available to me here at the minute. So, yeah, we're taking pretty much all of that. Turning that into about 9 amps at 360 odd volts. Um, it's our Tesla charger working away there. I'm just using a jumper pack at the minute to supply 12 volts because my paint job on the battery trays was a little bit too good and the paint is still kind of tacky and also tacky. Um, so yeah, a little of a walk around. We were, uh, we've got some nice throwing star wheels to go on here as well. So we have that to do. Um, up front... This headlight only comes up about halfway, uh, so I got to fix that ASAP. Got to put some covers over our uh, Ampera battery modules here. Obviously, BMW approved um, Ampera modules. Bit of tidy up here, but pretty much uh, this will be as it is for now. Um, yeah, Panzer needs a clean up and some wheels sort out these lights then we should be at least good for testing time it's that good news bad news time that I became accustomed to with the Panzer so pulled out the driver's side headlight and found out why it was jamming this arm here had been bent inwards and was basically catching the frame as the headlight lifted so I was able to bend that arm back in and we're all set so might be another element of the Mondello crash now that's the good news bad news is my headlight wiring is goosed so it looks like I have yet another job for myself I'll leave you guys at that for today um, Dave will keep struggling with this drift trike i'll keep struggling with the panzer don't forget to like share and subscribe or as i said previously dislike unshare and unsubscribe possibly um so oh yes almost for forgot 
check those links in the description and until then happy panzer prep